mind-blowing. I, I can't put it in words. I don't know what to say. Donna Hanks is one of hundreds of survivors from Hurricane Harvey in Rockport, overwhelmed by all the support coming into the area. We rolled in here about 1 o'clock in the morning, and it was completely dark. There was no lights, no nothing. Being combat veterans, it kind of hit home with us. Uh, when we were back in uh, war. Driving all the way from California, these four veterans with the Bakersfield Veterans for Houston made it their mission to help those they knew had nothing left. It's bad and it's sad. Cars are upside down and roofs are caved in and then you start noticing that these are people's homes, these are people's lives, these are people's cars, their memories. With the help of their community back home, the vets were able to raise $10,000 in less than 36 hours. Ask anybody needing water, diapers, dog food. Handed out lots of supplies, water, food, blankets. Going door to door to pick up trash, move trees and deliver donations, the group traveled all the way to the Houston area, helping dozens of families affected by Harvey. Today I saw a mother and a young baby, he was eight months old, crying because it's hot and the baby just red and that hit home because I have a, I have a son who's 19 months back home and I couldn't imagine my son being in that situation. The veterans teamed up with another group from California, the Sacramento Sings, with almost 13 trailers full of donations between the two of them. Helping other people is what makes us happy and defines us as who we are as a religion. As communities across the coastal bend are continuing to slowly pick up the pieces, they are thankful for the generosity of others. There's so many needs, but maybe it's not monetary. Just a hand, maybe I'll have a And God bless him. <laughs> Michelle Pedraza, 3 News.